The Kevin and Bean Show. Show. It's a real mess. Mess. K K K K K Rock. 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 K Rock. Radio. A couple of weeks ago during the showbiz beat, Ralph brought us word of a new show that was in the process of being cast. It was called Stay or Go. I don't remember the uh, details, Ralph. What was this one all about? Well, it's about couples who are on the verge of divorce. You know how uh, intensely painful the process of uh, divorce can be, uh, the, uh, the, the splitting up, uh, the emotional, the mental stress, uh, how it impacts your family, your friends. So the only thing that can take the sting out of that, I think, is reality television. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Stay or Go is a show that will take uh, these couples who are just at, the, at their lowest, just at the worst point of their relationship, and then uh, they will uh, dissect them live on television. Now, both... Th- of course, both of them have to agree to it. Why would they, though? Because, uh, Kevin, um, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Now, do they, do they have to uh, disarm a bomb or they get a face full of sour cream? If no. it's a different, if, no, if a different, different game, show? I'm thinking of Boom. That's a different Oh, show. Boom. That's right. That was right. This uh, goggle up. Stay or go will apparently uh, <laughs> show the uh, soon-to-be-divorced couple the impact that this will have on their family and their friends and their loved ones and their community. Uh, what's at stake for them if they go through with this, and then that couple gets to make the crucial decision of whether they will, in fact, proceed with the divorce or will they will stay uh, tragically, unhappily married for the remainder of their lives. <laughs> All right. So just uh, just so I understand, so Seacrest knocks on the door and he says, nope, "Knock, knock," nope. and then whichever once again, whichever you remember the couple opens the door, that person gets the lion's share of the separation. No, money? that's knock, knock, lion. Mm. The different okay. show. This is I'm stay confused. or go. All right. Well, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, and then we got an email from a man named Bobby Silva, who is a casting producer here in Hollywood, and he's the guy who's picking contestants for the show Stay or Go, and he offered to come on and maybe set our minds straight on this show, because apparently we didn't understand it. Hey, Bobby, welcome to the Kevin Bean Show, sir. How are you? Good, good morning, Kevin Bean, Ralph Garman, LMA. How are you all doing today? Good, We're Bobby. doing fine. It's a pleasure to have you on, sir. This, uh, this Stay or Go, I'm sure you have heard a lot of people react to it the way we reacted to it, which is, wow, this sounds like like a terrible idea. Yeah, you know, I was, I was driving to work and I heard Ralph uh, pounding a little bit on the show of his beat. No, not me, Bobby. <laughs> no, not you guys. He said, I want to give you guys a call because, you know, I'm a big fan of the show, but I also wanted to, um, you know, let everybody know that this is a show structured to help people in oh, a specific way. Of course it is. Why else do the show if you're not there to help people, Bobby? <laughs> so how does it help people to add the stress of going on television on top of what you're already dealing with as a couple on the verge of breaking up? You know, in, in this, I mean, in this day and age of, you know, divorce and marriage, a lot of people go through these kind, I mean, this big life change, and they don't, I don't want to say they don't think it through, but they go through it for different kind of reasons. They go through it for emotional reasons and whatnot. Nobody ever considers the actual, you know, financial ramifications and stuff. Mm-hmm. Or the regret. Um, there's a strange statistic. It's like 54% of people that get divorced regret it afterwards because they don't really think it through of what the input, you know, what's the impact on their family life, on their, you know, income or whatnot. So this show is actually structured to walk people through that. Walk so through are you trying to talk around. people out of getting divorced? Is that the plan? Well, you know, I, we're not advocating divorce. I'll tell you that straight up. Okay. This show is, is looking for married couples who, you know, maybe when they're fighting is, is co- are constantly throwing out the word divorce. I want a divorce, I want this, but they're not even thinking it through. So it's kind of like, it's almost that kind of reality to show people, listen, this is what's going to happen if you guys do get divorced. So how do you and, add, teach them what it would be like? Is there some sort of virtual divorce word world you put them in? <laughs> you know, I wish. It's actually, it's, it's a several-week process where... You know, we actually walk them through the legalities, so signing paperwork and stuff and this and that. Nothing's mm-hmm. final, of course. Right. It also it also works at separating them. You know, a lot of people that are married and are fighting all the time are with each other 24-7. So it's like, hey, listen, take a week away from your, your spouse that you might have problems with. And cheat. And, well, <laughs> no, like not cheat. Oh, I'm sorry. I said it out loud. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> But to kind of to, to see if you know if that's what you really want, because a lot of times it's like once you are, once you're away from that person, you're away from the situation. You got you got time to think. Mm. So, so what do you what do you do? Do you have them sit down with with lawyers, with financial planners, with marriage counselors, the, those types of professionals to kind of answer their questions about what it would be like if they pulled the trigger on the marriage? 
Exactly. We, we have nothing set completely yet, but, you know, there is a, a point where you walk through somebody who's going to give you legal advice. You're going to be able to talk to somebody about what's going on in your marriage. I mean, even, you know, even some of these interviews we do are a lot of help to people. Like, I'm not a clinical therapist by any way. I'm on, I'm a television producer. But being able to talk to somebody straightforward, you know, is like the first step. So a lot of these people really don't really understand what they're going through, they just know that they're fighting with their spouse and need some kind of you know, recourse for that. I don't know if you've shot a show yet, but may I suggest reenactments? Ooh, right? good idea. I'm so yeah. into shows with reenactors, That's and right. if people can like see what they're doing and how they sound, but use obviously hotter versions of them. <laughs> yeah, younger, say, hotter versions, absolutely. right. Absolutely. I love that idea, Bobby. Well, that'd be great. I mean, I, ideally, we are looking for couples in their 30s or 40s. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we have our website, Stay or Go Casting, where people can go and get more information and apply, and uh, my casting team will be in touch. Um, and we, this is a nationwide casting, so I love the fact I get to, uh, you know, be on K Rock and talk to people in Los Angeles. But, you know, if anybody knows of anybody around the country that might be interested in this, please have them go check out our website, Stay or Go Casting. It's on an application. Bobby, why is this fun for me, the home viewer? Yeah, I was going to say, this might be very helpful for the couple, but it sounds like horrible TV. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought of that exact same thing when I first got on. But then, you know, you have so many programs out today where people feed off of bad things. And you want to look for that redemption in the end. You want to have that couple go through this. You want to be able to, to see it and feel for them. And at the end, you want them to be able to go, oh, you know, this is not what we wanted. We're going to give our marriage a chance. We're going to work on it. So... Uh, that's that's kind of my opinion of the drive for this, to be able to experience what these people are going through. But but, uh, but at least half well. the people are going to still go forward with the divorce, though. So now I'm going to be at home getting invested in this couple that I'm seeing fighting and counseling, and at the end they're still going to walk away. It just seems like a big downer, unless you're going to give them a briefcase with $100,000 worth of cash in it, and right? then they decide how much they keep and how much they give away to the other couple. Or if we as a nation can vote. Oh, Again, listen, vote. Bobby, I've got great ideas, and I hope you're writing them down. Let I'm, stunned by, I'm stunned right by your questions. Down. I'm stunned by your questions, Kevin and Bean, because what uh, what leads you to believe that emotional wreckage and conflict does not make for wildly entertaining television? I mean, I it's I mean, it's I mean, every talk show. Every day, right? it, yeah, it's every talk show. It's every reality show. It's like people fighting with each other and being emotionally upset is what keeps this genre alive. Right, but it's yeah. one thing if it's people who just met on a beach in, in Mexico. It's another thing if it's a couple that's been together for 24 years with a bunch no. of kids. Because I don't you will, break up. you will choose one of the couple and root for that person. And if that guy breaks up with that shrill woman that's been yelling at it for 20 years you're like yes go damon go you're my boy or if damon's a chronic cheater oh. and constantly so like you to take her side of the damon's alley yeah, all right in, in, in all actuality though there is there is that light at the end of the tunnel for each one of these shows and you know uh, that's what my hope is for this that yes. people can actually see that you know maybe i'm making a bad decision maybe i should put a little more effort into my marriage and make it try to work a little bit more. Well, I, I think, Bobby, any couple who would choose to be on your show absolutely deserves it. <laughs> Thanks, Wait, Wait, is that good? Is that good? Yeah, you can't make more effort than going on a reality TV show at the end of your marriage. Bobby, when do you hope to get this on the air? Um, it should be coming in, a, uh, I think it's the fall program, and we're looking to get it on. So we are casting for the next couple of weeks. Um, so again, you're miserable. Do you have couples now you're working with, Bobby? Yeah, we've got a bunch of couples already interviewed, but, you know, we are looking for those dynamic people who are, you know, fun to talk to, but also have genuine problems and need help. So. Right, we want okay. people who are having a fun divorce. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're young, attractive, and having a great time in the middle of this divorce thing, go on, go to stayorgocasting.com and just get on television. Yeah, and we're, we're also casting Hotel Hell, too, so if you guys want to get some Gordon oh, Ramsay on, check out oh. Hotel Hell. Hotel uh, Hell. I love, that's where Gordon Ramsay goes to people who have failing hotels and uh, fixes them up. <laughs> okay. Exactly. It's like, it's like Hell's Kitchen, but with hotels. Uh, <laughs> he's got it going on. All you right. stupid donkey. Your sheets are soiled. <laughs> there you go. Casting.com. Good luck, married couples. Bobby, thanks for coming on. We enjoyed talking to you. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's the Kevin and Bean Show. It's horrible. K-Rock.